And with that, one of the Pokemon you caught at Prelude Beach for me will now be yours to keep. <laughs> Tucked it back inside its ball, so take it, it's yours. Cute. Thank you. A word of advice, my boy, pay close attention to which Pokeballs are empty and which ones contain a Pokemon when you're out in the field. Wait. Cuckoo. Flash. <laughs> they're cheering on their friend Cyndaquil. Or perhaps they're jealous that it gets to help you with your trial. Aw. That could well be. They did go dashing from the village when fate fell out of the sky after all. Oh dear. I can take them all. There's no problem. I'll take all of them. Blish Plash. <laughs> I just love the Blish Plash. By the by, what species has Captain Silene charged you with catching? All three of those. Yes, yes, we know. Let's give you some Pokeballs to use during your trial then. More? Didn't we just get 50? Okay, another 20. These Pokeballs may be handcrafted, but they work a treat as you've already seen. You'll have this trial cleared in no time. I guess you're finally ready. You'll have to leave the village for your trial. Turn left after you exit headquarters, then head for the gate. Okay. Okay. Very cute indeed, I know, right? But we couldn't give them a nickname, apparently. So turn left, head for the gate. How did she get there so fast? Damn, girl. She's some kind of ninja or something. Ooh, what a curious getup you have there. I can already tell you're quite the character. I'm Volo of the Ginkgo Guild, the go-to choice for any of your mercantile needs here in Hisui. Okay. Fell from the sky, didn't you? Yes, apparently we did. Oh, and you've a Pokemon. You're certainly full of interesting surprises. Odd novel is key to any good merchant's success. So what do you say? How about you and I see how our Pokemon stand up to a no- Ooh, our first battle. Great. I like you better and better. What a delightful find. Also heard about this trial you're to attempt. Let's have a quick battle to get your blood pumping before you head out. But I hope you know you'll lose if your Pokemon's HP reaches zero. Yes, I am aware of this. Ginkgo Guild Nobody member Volo challenged you to battle. Autography? Ah. Uh. Okay, let's see. Fight. Quick attack. Boom. Okay, nice. I love how we change our stance whenever we give an, like, an order. Okay, this is actually kind of close. Anyways, easy peasy. And battle decided. Moves, items, use them well and the world will be open to you. Ooh, level up. Nice, new move. It didn't, didn't even tell me what? Okay, it's always good fun to have your Pokemon to battle, don't you think? They'll learn more moves and grow even stronger. Pokemon sometimes learn new moves when they level up. If you want to change the moves your Pokemon can use in battle, open your satchel, choose the Pokemon you want and select change moves option. Okay, this is new. But own Pokemon if only more knew how to use Pokeballs. Do battlers recover from their little exercise? Okay. And to you, my sky fallen friend, I present some potion and thanks. Potion the. Thank you. It's very kind of you. Yes, we know. You can use them on your Pokemon ever then they might be worn out from battle. I'll be hoping that you are successful in that trial of yours. Okay. <laughs> Always thinking of that money, money, money.
That's really something. Not only can you catch Pokemon, you can lead them in battle. Now to the Obsidian Field, that's... Okay, let's go. I'm very excited. Make sure you choose a destination from your map and tell... Res the Guardsman where you're going. That way someone can come to your aid if you're knocked out by a Pokemon. Okay. Your trial begins just a short way past that front gate. Cool. Hi. Your fate, correct? I was informed you'd be passing through. Your trial will take place outside the safety of the village. Please take care to come back alive. Okay. What does this say? Ah. Okay, good. Yes, let's go. Yes. <laughs> and the voyage begins. This is our base camp. The last safe haven before we, you reach the wilds. For your trial, you must catch three species. Bidoof. Ugh, I hate that Pokemon, I have to admit. Starly and Shinx. Are you ready? We are. Wait, what? Something wrong? Uh, well, you see, got a hold after me, you less, you yada yada, whatever. I want to start. Come on, that's our unsparing captain. But what help exactly can you offer out here, Professor? To be honest, my dear girl, I don't intend to lift a finger. <laughs> ah, that's so rude. Ah, so the responsibility for him still lies, in fact, with me then. Let's begin. Finally, let's go. Let's go. Okay. I'm missing something? No? Okay. This is Aspiration Hill. The species of Pokemon you meant to catch all live here. Obsidian Fieldlands. And along comes a Bidoof. Time to get ready. He's to aim carefully, not that you seem to need my advice. I'm just sharing what I know. I would be terrible at throwing Pokeballs. Terrible. Okay, hold down the see, L button to focus on a wild po Okay. Targeting. Bidoof has a mellow disposition. That means it tends not to run from people, so this will be easy. Okay, let's go. Okay. Boom. On your butt. Ding. Got it. Well done. Time to find your next Pokemon. Let's do it. Kind of missing background music here somehow. There's a Starly. They're skittish little things. They'll run if startled. We should be able to get close. Okay, crouch. You'll get... Yes. Okay. Press the B button to crouch. Cool. Wait, where was it? Beautiful. Only one more to go. I forgot there's something I ought to teach you since you're still new to this. Here's the proper way to throw your partner's Pokeball. Captain Silene tells us, have an item at the ready, but went to send it out. Wait, what? But want to send out a Pokemon? Press X. Pokemon at the ready, but want to throw an item? Press X. Captain's a real expert on these things. Okay, so exit is. Ooh. 
Wait, try throwing your Poco Pokemon's ball at such trees like this one to have it investigate. Finds any berries or other items, it'll bring them to you. Okay. You've reached your final hurdle, catching a Shinx. Well, I mean... Wait. So, now what? And then we just... Yes. Get me my loot. Beautifully done. We can make our Pokemon loot for us. I love it. There, yeah, that's a Shinx. An aggressive disposition. Could you already tell that? More or less? I thought you might. I can never tell until I focus on a Pokemon carefully. Once aggressive Pokemon get irate, they'll knock aside any ball you throw at them. Okay. Good to know. Whoops. Next icon will appear above a Pokemon if it has picked a fight with you. Be warned, Pokemon displaying this icon cannot be caught unless you engage them in battle. Very well. Don't worry, though. I'll teach you the trick to catch an aggressive Pokemon. You've got to battle them. Once they've absorbed with battling, you can throw a Pokeball at them to try to catch them. By now, you've got several Pokemon of your own, don't you? Take one of their Pokeballs and throw it near a wild Pokemon you want to battle. Okay. I've got no doubt you hold your own in battle. Alrighty. Simply throw a Pokeball that contains one of your Pokemon in it. Okay. Fun. Where is it? Right there. It's a Yay! We can fight! Ooh, Ember. And bitch. Okay, twice in a row, that's kind of rude. And you burn. It's looking around, so now... What, how do we just... Like this? And like this? And use? Okay. Awesome. You approached those Pokemon without a hint of fear and caught each one. You're like a gift the sky dropped to us. Well, thank you. With you at our side, I think the Survey Cops has a real chance of compiling a complete Pokedex as we've been ordered. This is wonderful. I'm still curious why on earth you came falling from the sky like you did, but for now, let's tell the professor we are ready to head back. But I want to explore. Fine. Go back. Oh, -ho. I said you'd pass the trial with flying colors, and it seems you went and did just that. Congratulations. Thank you. Memorative photograph. Okay. Click. So it's a foregone conclusion. Yeah. Let's tell her that we were amazing and she can shove it. Okay. And bring up to six Pokemon with you into the field in theory. Though we've never had anyone skilled enough to do so. Damn. Come now, you two? Let's not dilly dally. <laughs> she better be. Grumpy lady. Seems we won't have to leave you to die after all. 
<laughs> That's ever so kind. Past your trial, you can hold on to your that satchel. I must admit, you've impressed me. I set a high hurdle to judge whether a stranger like yourself could be worthy, but you cleared it. Sure did. The official uniform. Finally a change of clothes. And a pair of Survey Corp sandals. Really? Sandals? In the room last night? Uh, okay. Send yourself in uniform to our commander. This is your first official order from your captain. Okay, then. Let's get dressed. Yes, we want to change our outfit, please. Okay. Um. Okay. Okay. Well, I guess that's kind of better. Still not sure about them shoes, though. What are they made out of? Draw? Looking cool. <laughs> Look how well our Survey Corps uniform suits you. It's almost as if the captain had it tailored just for you. How quaint. Guarding your accommodations, you may continue to use the room you slept in last night. You may wear this as well. What's this? Ooh. A hat. Perfect. My favorite. Nod. Now present yourself to the commander. Okay. Ooh, it's so tall. Is that a treasure chest? No. Just a chest of drawers. How disappointing. What do you mean, no loot? This can't be right. Ooh, little Evie. Cute. Hi there. Adorable. There has to be loot here somewhere. I call bullshit. You're fine. How about... Thing? Oh, okay, hi there. I have been waiting for you. I am Kamado, commander of the Galaxy Expedition Team. So you are fate. Yes, sir, it's an honor. You know your manners, at least. I've been briefed in your situation, including how you fell from the rift in the sky. Can we not dwell on that? Okay. Ace me in combat. I to throw him? Charge at him. Hiya! Oops. Um, you've got bigger. I'll give you that. You need to work on your sumo technique, but I do see some potential. Rude. Don't expect a warm welcome from everyone. Naturally, some will be sh slow to trust an outsider who literally fell right out of the blue. Okay. But you passed the trial that was put to you. No matter how odd you may seem, you're part of the Jubilee village now. Okay, these people are kind of rude. Dedicate yourself to the work and complete the Pokedex. But I warn you, Pokemon are terrifying creatures. Keep your wits about you as you work. What do they mean? They're all adorable. Well, most of them anyway. So the commander has also accepted you. 
But understand this, you begin as a no-star recruit among our, among our ranks. In other words, you have no rank at all. Okay. Perform well as a member of the Survey Corps and you will move up the ranks. Indeed, you see, the more you add to the Pokedex, the higher your rank will become. And working on the Pokedex will also, of course, bring you closer toward that goal of yours to seek out every last Pokemon. You will need this? What's this? Recipe for crafting Pokeballs. Okay, one Apricorn and one Tumblestone. And 3,000 as well? You will have to buy the necessary materials. Oh, okay. I was gonna say. Akari, you are an expert at crafting yourself. Teach our new recruit what he needs to know. Of course. Let me explain a bit to start with. Crafting means making items with your own two hands. You can buy some items at the general store, but self-sufficiency is worth striving for. We can even make our most valuable tools, Pokeballs. Think where we'd be if we couldn't do that. Let's head to the Craftworks. Activate guide. Okay. Crafting is a thing too. But also, what's this room? Oh, it's his room. Okay. Ooh. Oh, look. A friend that we didn't choose. Is there other one here too? No? Oh, yes, he is. Oh, look. Adorable. Okay, let's go. Wait, can you craft now, Pokeballs? Can you manipulate time and space? Um, well, we were sent here by Arceus in the beginning. Through this time-space continuum rift thing. Uh, but And yes, it seems we can craft our own items in this game. My name is Anthe. I'm the local cloth here. Professor asks that I ready you a change of clothes, so here you go. I do hope they fit more clothes. Everyday kimono and an everyday trousers. Okay, cute. I hope you'll avail yourself of the village's humble shops. This way. Okay. So, looting takes on a whole nother level in this Pokemon game. With crafting. You can use the workbench here at the Craftworks anytime you need to make an item in the village. Oh, those things. I was wondering what that is. Call it my way of saying congratulations. Okay. To spend the money you got from the captain on clothes or whatever you think is best. Okay. How about food? Okay. You can use the workbenches. Crafting items requires a, a recipe and the necessary materials. I thought that Pokeballs is kind of a technology behind our understanding, but it seems like it can be easy made by hands. Well, I, who knows what kind of timeline this is in Pokemon right now. It's a lot different here, isn't it? So, okay. Apricorn and Tumblestone. 20 each. Can we make all of them at once? Oh, we can. Should we just do it? Yeah, let's. Well, that was simple. Oh, now that's some fine craftsmanship. Hard to believe that this was your first stepping up to the workbench, my boy. Yes, we are also a crafter now. Pokemon expert, ball throw expert, and a craft expert. That fell from the sky. With the Pokeballs we craft, we can make use of that power to catch them. Also, that more Pokemon species can be duly recorded in the Pokedex. And on that note, here you are. Ooh, okay. What does this look like? Oh, it's literally just a notebook. <laughs> okay. It really is. I can't believe it. Okay, cool. Open. Wait. Wait. We caught this. Why is this? What do you mean? Numbers caught one. Times you've seen it in use ember. Oh my god. Times you've seen it use an agile style move. Wait a minute. What is all this? Okay. Damn. 
I prepared this volume just for you. I hope it aids you well in your team, uh, in your aim to seek out all the Pokemon there are in this grand region. Okay. Research tasks. Okay. Same goes for me, of course. I've also got a Pokemon to research as a Survey Corps member. I'd be all too happy to explain more about the research tasks I could use your assistance with. Come join me at the Fieldlands camp whenever you're ready, my good fate. Oops, I didn't activate the guide. Probably never find it now. <laughs> hey, excuse me, I couldn't help but over here. If you're going to the Fieldlands camp, would you mind taking care of a request for me? Ooh, is this our first side mission? Can't leave my post. People you have... Okay, yes, it is. You may receive a nice reward. Do like rewards. What do you want? What can I do for you? Hey, so there's this wild Pokemon called Wormpole. Have you heard of it? Yes, I think so. Well, you see, I was having a chat with Professor Leventon and he told me that after a Pokemon gains a certain amount of experience through battling and the like, it will sometimes change its appearance and become stronger. He said it was a phenomenon called evolution. Yes, we know. And so I decided I want to raise a Wormpole myself and have it evolve. You can, if you catch, could you let me have it? Okay. So you just want us to catch it for you? Alrighty then. I suppose we can do that. Wait, what's this? I know Shink's ears, that odd markings on the insides. What were they? No use, I can't remember this, will keep me up all night. Hey, aren't you? With the survey cops, if you catch a Shinx, could you show it to me? We already did! Please, I can't remember for the life of me what those ears look like. It's driving me up the wall. Okay, so now what? Just talk to him again? We do. Here you go. Take a look and a peek in a gander. Let's have a peek at those round ears. Okay, that was cute. Kind of like a star. Like it looks more kind of like a sword, but okay. Bone stuck in my throat. Only the throat's my brain and the bone's a thought. Okay. And what do we get for this? Ooh, three potions. Okay, cool. Wait. Oh my god, there's so many. Oh no, we've already done that. Wait. Oh. Oh, I wish it wouldn't do that. That's confusing. You're that newcomer you who fell from the sky? Yes, let's dwell on that more. We're working on, right? Well, kindly find out all about Starly. Pokemon certainly are terrifying creatures, but when I see Starly, I feel simply whole. Now that I have the least desire to actually touch one, mind you. Okay completed it wait hold on now okay wait no that's not it that's not it either was it here? where check pokedex um oh the minus no it's not wait how do i check my missions again oh wait there it is Oh, only the completed Pokedex entry. So we have to do, like, certain stuff to complete it? Is that it? Wait, we don't have to catch it, like, 25 times, do we? Numbers defeated, zero. Number of different forms you've obtained. Different forms? Okay. Okay. Not entirely sure what this means, but... Okay. 